Hey guys, this is Matt Wickle with Chatley Marine. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a, a boat I've had a lot of calls about interest in. It's the 2024 Gamefish 25 by Sea Hunt. Uh, we've had some really, really good incentives on these at the last few boat shows. Um, and I want to take a, the time to kind of go through some of the specs and features of this boat. Before we climb in the boat, I want to take a quick second to go over the specs of the boat. Uh, the boat, first thing you'll notice there is just standard with a through-hole windlass, which is a nice feature. The windlass is not going to get hung on the trailer like it would be if it were mounted on the top. The boat is 26 foot long, has a 9 foot 2 inch beam, has a 19 inch draft. So you, for those guys still wanting to island hop, pull up on sandbars, you can still do all that, no problem. Max horsepower is 400 horsepower. Although again here at Chetley we do choose to option our, or stock our boats with twin 150s and it does a, a great job. And it has 144 gallon fuel tank capacity. Uh, as far as the, um, the dead rise goes, it does have the variable degree dead rise. So you've got a really sharp 60 degree entry and you can see just how much Carolina Flare this thing has. Massive, it's gonna be a great riding boat. It transitions to 24 degree dead rise at the midship and then down to uh, 21 at the stern. Just wanna do a quick overhead shot of the floor plan. Uh, the 25 game fish is designed for the family that wants to do uh, probably 70% fishing, but still wants some comfort features to do the boat ride, hanging out, island hopping, uh, things like that. So if you like the room of the 25 and just wish it had more family features, this is the 265 Ultra. This boat is geared more towards the family that is doing mostly boat riding, hanging out, island hopping, but still wants the ability to fish. Um, kind of centered more on comfort and boat riding than fishing. So you get the rear bench seat on the 265 Ultra versus the movable bench seat on the Gamefish 25. Again, Gamefish is more for that uh, family that wants to fish, less boat riding hanging out. Both are great boats, just uh, have to see which one works best for your need. Climbing inside the boat, first thing we'll take a look at is the bow area. Uh, we do choose to option ours with the bow filler cushion. I think it's a great option for guys who have families. You know, you can take this boat island hopping. That gives a big spacious area for kids to lay out. Uh, you know, women, husbands, whoever, just to kind of lounge up front. It is very deep, so if you are riding in rougher water, which this boat's going to handle it really well, but you are going to be way inside the boat. So no, no fear of kids popping out in rough water or anything like that. Um, with a bow filler, you can sit three people up here pretty easily, two facing forward, one facing the stern. You also have cup holders up front. You can see you got a cup holder behind the bow rider. And you also have a cup holder rod holder combination, which is gonna be nice if you're drifting or offshore fishing. Uh, and also perfectly placed for just, just holding the cup holder. You'll notice this little cutout in the front filler cushion. What that's for is they have an optional bow beverage center. We don't choose to option that here, but it is a nice nice feature for somebody who wants a place to put additional drinks, cups, bottle, bottles of wine. Um, you do have two forward pull-up cleats and the bow windlass controls. With the cushions removed, you can see how much additional room you have. You can walk all the way to the bow of the boat. There's a step up to the front. So if you're throwing a cast net, you know, it's not a huge step up for older guys um, or if you're in rough water. You also have two insulated 148 quart fish boxes. These drain overboard. They are gasketed and CN does a really good job with their lids. Their construction, their fit and finish is really nice. And second 148 quart fish box on the port side. Uh, you also have 188 quart in floor storage. Open that up so you can see down there. All stainless steel latches. See, it does a great job with their fit and finish. Um, in the step, try to get a shot of this. There is a slide out tackle drawer, and it also comes with a uh, a Sea Hunt bottle opener. Nice little touch. Walking to the bow. Bow windlass controls. Bow windlass is standard on the 25 game fish. Using oversized pull up cleats on both sides. A recessed bow rail that's powder coated. 
and they take everything to the, the extra step. Um, I want to point out how even the drink holders drain to the floor. Nothing's going to go to the bilge area. So the rod holder cup holder combination has its own drain today. Looking back at the console, you got a very comfortable bow seating cushion. Uh, plenty of room there for two adults. Plenty of room to walk around the boat, which I love. 25 game fish, again being 26 foot, has a tremendous amount of walking room. Full length bolsters, oversized midship cleats, additional speakers in the gunnel, and you will see the side entry door. The side entry door on the Game Fish 25 is on the port side. Uh, customers get confused about having twin doors. That's only available on the Ultra models. Uh, on the 25 Game Fish, you will have a two-piece door. And the reason for that is the gunnel height is so much taller than the two-piece. One more look at the side entry door. Sea Hunt was one of the first boats in this price range to come out with the side entry door. Now, you know, we've seen other manufacturers kind of copy it. But it, I can't can't stress how nice it is you know you got older guys like my dad or parents stepping on, on from the dock they step directly into the boat they don't have to step up and then down or step down into the boat it's just like a pontoon so it makes loading and unloading super easy um you're not tripping or if you're loading coolers you don't have to you know lug that thing over the the, the gunnel so a uh, great feature by sea hunt and and remember on the 25 and 27 game fish you only get a single side entry door uh, I don't want people to get confused. On the Ultra, starting for 2024, they have uh, the dual entry doors. But again, that is only available for 2024 on the Ultra series. Look at the stern of the boat. You do have a second transom walk-through walk door and additional storage under the step. So there's no wasted space. You'll see you have flush mount floor drains. So there's not no scum going to get hung up there. High pressure raw to wash down. A 220 quart stern fish box with hydraulic assist. And all these are going to have overboard drainage. This is an enormous fish box. It also has a cutting board located on top of it. Got a 27 gallon stern live well with a clear acrylic lid. Nice touch with the Sea Hunt logo, too. Um, it is insulated, so if you're not fishing, I guess you could use it for a uh, whole nice and drinks or a trash can, either one. It is recirculated uh, with the uh, LED light. Looking further at the transom, you've got pull up cleats, rod holders, the fill for the 19 gallon freshwater system. That freshwater system uh, supplies the water to the misters for the hardtop and also the high pressure freshwater shower. Again, really nice touches by Sea Hunt. Plenty of room to access pumps with the dual doors there. We do choose to option our boats with the rear bench seat, which is removable. It's a nice option if you're going to be boat riding, hanging out with family. And I like the way it removes. I'll pull the seat out so you can see, uh, see how much fishing room you have in this boat. With that seat removed, you can see how much room you have back here to work. I mean, enormous amounts of fishing room. Plenty of room for two or three guys to work. Underneath the seat, is a hatch with easy access. Let's see if I can get the camera to pan down there. To all your pumps, the through hole fittings. See, it does a great job making it easy for our mechanics. Everything that goes through the hole has a valve, so you can shut it off. Everything's labeled nice and neat. Great job. Taking a look at the console. Nice glove box storage there. Dual foot rest, which is nice for uh, if you have somebody who's kind of shorter. It gives them a second place to put their feet so the feet's not dangling. Stainless steel vision wheel is standard. Um, push button start standard on the uh, all the game fish models. Trim tabs also standard. They use Bennett tabs. Uh, Yamaha digital control box. The nice thing about that is you can use a single lever if you want to control both motors with a, with a single lever. Um, plenty of cup holders, which is a nice feature. Standard with a Garmin 1243XSV, which is a really nice unit. Preloaded with all the continental United States, freshwater and saltwater, lakes, contour lines, topography. Also includes the Garmin VHF radio, 
and they are networked together. So if you're offshore, it, it works with a DSC feature so you can send your coordinates to the Coast Guard. It is standard with a JL Audio stereo system, the Media Master 105. It's got an amplifier, six speakers, all powered by the amp. Uh, it comes with a MP3 charging port, 12 volt port, and of course the wireless charger is also a standard feature on the 25 game. Top of the console gives you a, a dash pad, CDEC dash pad, nice, you can put your phones up there, wallets, anything you don't want sliding around, it is standard with a compass. You'll also see the electric actuator on the hard top. Um, you can see that windshield vent there, and I'll go into more of that in just a second. Taking a quick look at the hard top, uh, you'll notice that we do option our boats with the kingfish rod holders, which are the rod holders off to the side. They're not a standard feature. We also option it with the color underneath the hull. I think that looks really classy. It matches the exterior hull color. That is an option also. Um, but you'll see you've got two additional speakers on the hard top. You've got a mister system. I'll zoom in a little bit closer on this one. Mister system here which is a really nice feature. It cools you down. It makes a huge difference. We actually have a similar setup back in the shop for the mechanics for the summer. Uh, it cools you down without getting you soaking wet. And you also see the LED mood lights on the top and the electric actuated vent. So that vent, um, you know, you've got a switch to open that up and it really channels the uh, the wind through here in the summer. I kind of relate it to the older cars that had that little window on the side you can open up and it really forces a ton of uh, wind through here. And then if you got night, colder weather, you just shut it and blocks all the wind and spray off of you. They did option the boat with a uh, glove box for 2024, which is a nice feature. You can see your switch panel up here. Uh, forward spreader lights, aft spreader lights, um, courtesy lights, windshield vent, and again the uh, the VHF beside it. All Seahawn boats are uh, powered by Yamaha engines and they are power matched. So what that means is that um, every component is genuine Yamaha. They don't use any aftermarket components. So with the digital engines, you're going to have a CL5 uh, touchscreen display, genuine Yamaha digital control box, of course, Yamaha electric steering, Yamaha ignition panel, and kill switch. And they use all Yamaha fuel water separators, wiring harnesses, everything that um, the Yamaha says need to be used. And by doing that, they give you an additional warranty. So instead of a one-year warranty on your digital control box, you will get three years. Same way on the uh, ignition panel, gauges, everything follows the factory Yamaha warranty. Taking a look at the switch panel, they do a great job with their layout. Everything has a, a waterproof breaker beside it. Everything's nice and neat. Everything's labeled, so you've got, you know, controls, bow controls for your windlass, turn, you know, console controls for the windlass, switch for the misters, underwater lights, uh, freshwater shower, raw water wash down, the macerator pump, uh, leaning post bait well. Everything again, nice, nice and neatly organized. They do give you two 12 volt accessory plugs at the console for charging electronics. The standard helm seat in the 25 game fish is the aquarium style leaning post live well. It does have a 35 gallon uh, capacity. Great fit and finish. You see the bait. Um, does have an LED light and a recirculation pump. Rails are powder coated. You do have bottle opener, which is a nice touch. Built in tackle organizers, uh, knife holders, stainless steel ball bearing trays with dividers to slide out. Comfortable armrest, flip up bolsters, and fold down footrest. There's also additional storage on the port side. Knife holders, plier holders, tackle organizers, and then there's the pressurized freshwater shower system. Taking a quick look at the stern of the boat, you'll see the trim tabs are recessed. Uh, sea Hunt does give you a standard Garlic dive ladder. So this folds down. Locks in place, and you've got steps on both sides. I can't reach the other side, but uh, it does make it easy to get on and off the boat. And this is in addition to the optional side entry ladder. Uh, you can see the oversize eyes there, standard underwater lights. You can see our power match sticker there. We went over that. What that means that means for 2024, Yamaha has um, 
team with Sea Hunt to produce all the game fish series with the white engines. Uh, the 25 game fish has a max horsepower capacity of 400 horsepower. Uh, we do choose to stock ours with 150s. We feel like that's, this does a great job. Um, even loaded down, full fuel, gas, people, never heard a single complaint. Uh, I'm not going to talk somebody out of getting 200s if they really want them because I've never heard somebody say they have too much, but the 150s are how I would personally buy it. It does a great job. I briefly mentioned some of the cool features. Um, it's kind of hard to get to the back of the boat that we got the way we have them positioned inside, but you can see the blue underwater lights there, which is a standard feature on the 25 game fish. You'll also see standard interior mood lighting under the gunnels. You've got a courtesy light on the side of the console, additional mood floor lighting in the bow on both sides. Uh, additional blue mood lights in the stern also. You've got, I'm going to try to open this console there so you can see in there. And then also in the uh, the head area, you've got mood lights there also. They do have sea deck matting in the, uh, the head area. It is a, a, a porcelain head with overboard discharge with macerator. Um, you can see the side entry ladder storage, which is an option there, and also see the uh, the battery layout. All speaking of the batteries, all Sea Hunt Game Fishes for 2024 come with four batteries, two house batteries, and two cranking batteries. That's definitely a difference from um, from a lot of other boats. A lot of them will come with one house battery and then one battery for each engine, so you'd have three batteries total. Sea Hunts are standard with four in this box here. Easy access to the uh, the batteries, wiring makes working on the boats a breeze. Get one last look at the 2024 Sea Hunt Game Fish 25. If you're in the market for a new Game Fish or new Sea Hunt or any center console, uh, before you make any buying decision, please give me a call. Matt Wicker at Chatley Marine, 919-775-7259. Again, please ask for Matt Wicker when you call. Matt Wicker, Chatley Marine, 919-775-7259. We are the largest Sea Hunt dealer in the country. I've been selling their boats for over 20 years, and I'd love to answer any questions you have and try to save you some money in the process. Thanks for watching.